Creating a countdown clock in Easy Worship is simple to create and allows you to use it on top of any slide, so I thought I would create a quick video showing you how to do that. The first thing you need to do is set the time you want to count down to. You'll need to do this in the service intervals in the options. In Easy Worship, go to Edit, Options, and then click on Service Intervals on the left. Click Add to enter in the day, start time, and stop time for your services. For instance, if your service is on Sunday from 10.30 to noon, set the day to Sunday, then start time to 10.30, and the stop time to 12. If you also have other services, you can add those times in as well. So if you have a Wednesday evening service from 6 to 8 p.m., click Add to create a new time, and change the day to Wednesday. The time is in 24 hours, so set the start time to 1800 and the stop time to 2000. Finish setting up the service times you want, and then click on Alerts on the left. The countdown clock will be added as a message alert, so you can change the settings for that here. I normally like to remove the background for the alert. Even if I use a normal message alert, I like the background to be transparent. So I'll set the background color to None. You can also set the screen location for the message alert. Depending on the background I'm using each week, I might change this from the top to the bottom and vice versa. Make any other changes you want and click OK. Next, we're going to click on the Alerts button on the toolbar and click the Message Alert drop-down and select Create Edit Alert Template. Click the plus button at the bottom to start a new alert. Give it a name. I'll call it Countdown. To be able to use the service intervals in the countdown, we need to set up a token so, click the Tokens drop-down and click Add. Give the token a name, I'll call this one CD Timer, for Countdown Timer, and then choose the type of token you want it to be. In this case, it will be a countdown to service start. If I run this on Sunday morning, it will count down to the time I entered in the options, which was 10.30 a.m. You can see there are other options here as well. You can choose a clock, countdown to service stop, countdown to service start and stop. You can choose to count down to a specific time, which would be more useful if you have a service that's not a recurring time. So your normal services, you can use the service intervals, since they're the same time every week. But if you have one-off services at a random time, you can use this one. Or you can just select a countdown timer and set the time for as long as you want. So if you want it to count down from 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or 14 and a half minutes, you can use that and just start the alert when you want. Choose your display format and check Allow Overrun if you want it to start counting negative when it gets to zero. I normally don't check this box. Then click OK. You can type text in here if you want, like service will start in blank minutes. Then click on Tokens and drag and drop your token where you want it. Make sure you add a space between your text and the token, just as if the token were text. Or you don't even have to have text. You can just add the token if you want. Next, choose your display method. I like it to be static, so I'll choose that. And then the text alignment will be center, right, or left. I'll choose Center. Since this is counting down to a specific time, under Display Count, I'll choose until token expires. That way, when it's finished counting down, I don't have to do anything. It will end and close out on its own. Then we'll tell it which token it will follow for the expiration, just in case we had more than one token in the alert. Here I'll choose the CD timer and click OK. Now click Close on the Alert Editor. You're all set! 
Whenever you're ready, go to the alerts and select Message Alerts. Click on the countdown you created and the countdown to your service start time will begin. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Easy Worship.